Hello everybody, Moonwalkers like me live in a yellow submarine, and today, uh, I am back, and sorry it took you so long for uploading this video, but, um, today I will be, um, talking about this album that, um, I just got today, or actually I got this album yesterday, and I decided to, um, take time not doing, I decided not to do a video when I just got, um, this album, Ringo Starr's Choose Love album, right here. Peace and love. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, um, I didn't want to upload this video yesterday it's because, um, I had to take time to listen to all the songs more and more so I can understand more about what the song is talking about and, you know, the background of it. But this song, uh, or this album, I will consider this as Ringo Starr's most underrated album from him because it wasn't a hit in the charts and it didn't do so well because... Besides the other album that I got, which was, um, and I also got another album from Ringo Starr, which is, um, called Ringo Rama. Let me show you. It, that, this album wasn't a hit compared to this album, Ringo Rama. And I actually, lo I love this album cover. I, I mean, I know many people out there didn't like this album cover, or the album, when it first came out, but it, it's pretty good. I, I like the album. It, it may take, it may take some time to get used to it. I've listened to new songs from that new album, but this. This has got to be, in my opinion, the most underrated album from Ringo Starr. Besides Paul McCartney's, um, because Paul McC cause le to let you guys go know that I wasn't a big fan of John Lennon or, you know, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney's later, like, their solo albums. I wasn't a fan of that, um, a while, like, a couple months ago. But since I've been listening to Paul McCartney's, you know, Driving Raid album and the Gyp Station, I've been becoming a fan of Paul McCartney's and I've been listening to other members of the Beatles' solo albums, you know, after the breakup of the Beatles. And I started to love their, um, their later albums, and... Man, I just love their later albums so much. But this album I would love to talk about in this video, which is called Ringo Star Choose Love. And this came... This album came out in 2005. Wow, that's nostalgic right there. Not too long ago, actually, because it's... It's already been like four... Well, this, next year's gonna be... This album's gonna be 15 years old next year. And probably the most underrated album ever and um yeah just wanted to do like a, a little bit of review of the album cover which i do love ringo star's pose right there i love his pose right there just and have you guys go as notice right there because i'm just gonna hold on let me get a clear picture he's holding he's actually holding three fingers actually instead of two if you can not see it because i don't think you guys can and girls can see it too well but he's hold, he's actually holding up three fingers. Oh wait, hold on. three fingers. There it is. Because he did did some other album covers that he did that two fingers too. You know that represents the piece. But um, yeah, I I, I do love the album cover. I do love it. Um, yeah, but um, so this is what happens when I open up this album cover. Pretty cool, isn't it? So um, okay, so um, you know I'll review the back cover. So. Um, on the back cover is actually a, a, a I actually got a dual disc, a two-sided disc. I, I believe for that you could buy anything. If you see this online, like you know, if you wanted to buy this album, it can say like two-sided disc. It it can say anything of like you can get two-sided disc when you buy it, it can still be a two-sided disc. If you guys go don't know what two-sided disc is, it's um a two sides of the disc that one includes the CD and the other side is the DVD. Yo. Of the making of the documentary of this album right there. Ringo Starr, Choose Love. But, um... <clears throat> and I, um... Because, um, I, just to let you guys go, know that I was a little sick a couple days ago. That I was losing my voice. And, like, I can't, like, upper register. I can still upper register now. So that's why I haven't been uploading the videos. Because I was a little sick. That I was coughing a little, a lot. Lately, lately. But I'm not, I haven't been... But I'm feeling way better today than the other days, trust me. But um, my voice is getting a little better, but not not 100% perfect. Like, almost like 80% per, um, better. But um, anyway, the back cover, actually, um, in, um, the top one is the, the CD side, and the bottom one is the DVD side. Let me just get you a close look of what it looks like. I don't think you guys can see it because of the flashing glare. But, um... It does say in the blue one, it says, Total program, 44 minutes of 30, uh, 44 minutes and 30 seconds of love. 
That's what it says. I'm not even joking. It says it right there. But um and um the C the DVD side is actually says um it says um the first one says all songs in enhanced stereo. And the second one bullet says a new exclusive Choose Love album documentary. The third uh, bullet says Choose Love album lyrics. And new Rango and the fourth uh, bullet is new Rango biography and, and song by song analyze. So it's just like talking about the background of each song. Sorry about the glare because I, I used um, you know the flashing thing so you can see my face. <coughs> oh sorry, I'm a little still sick, but. In this side, if you turn it over, it actually says, um, right there, I didn't even caught that before when I, when I was testing this out to see if it was working fine. Oh, wait, hold on, let me back it up. Oh, ah, oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Okay, my apologies of the, because I was adjusting the camera, I accidentally turn off the recording, and now, I, and now I'm back here. Okay, let me just get a clear focus, hold on. Okay, so in the bottom, like right here, or on, uh, right here. Ah, oh, it's hard. But like it says, um, the bullet, the audio side of the disc does not conform to CD sophistications, and therefore, not all DVD and CD players will play the audio side of the disc. I didn't even thought of that when I first got this album, cause, cause when I was trying out the CD album, it doesn't work on the same on like on on the laptop that I used, you know, just to record videos on, but not. Only that, but like it works for the DVD um, um side disc. It works for the DVD, but not the CD. Um, like the album, you know, studio, you know, the album version of the um, songs. But um, I'll I'll show you after I'm done doing it. Like an um, I'll show you after I get um done reviewing the whole entire album, you know, cover. Cause like, you know, I just want to show you more of the album cover. So um. Yeah, so let me show you proof that um, this CD or this um, side right here, if you guys and girls can see, it says um CD, and the other side says um, oh well, hold on, uh, DVD right there. So it's like two sides. You, you can s clearly see that. So, so the ones I so the one that I played on the DVD, it works for the DVD side, but not the CD, it's because they're both are the different um because, but on the DVD uh. But on the DVD, you can actually, um, I'll just get to that later on, because it's kind of hard to demonstrate while just, you know, talking about it. But, like, this is what the album looks like after I open the disc up. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Especially for the mid 2000s right there, right? But, um, <coughs> I'm gonna test, I'm gonna put the disc in so you can, guys and girls can see it. But, um, yeah, but in the back booklet, or uh, in the back of the a book case right there, it says... Quote, you can't say anything bad about people you love. Quote by Ray Charles right there. Yeah, love that guy. Cr pretty crazy, pretty cool that Ringo Starr got a promotion from that singer. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't even know that, because, like, that's actually a pretty cool quote that they actually put in this album. That's actually a really good, tr um, really good um, cameo right there. That's what I like to say. So when I open up the first page, it shows up, um... Uh, first picture of Ringo Starr's silly um, picture and the left side the right star or the right um, The second page is where like, you know Ringo Starr meets with a couple of crews and the bands like, you know the members and the you know People that he meets that's awesome. And I, also at the bottom words at the bottom of the words says um That the drum is life it is the sound well it's actually a quote but the, the quote says the drum is life it is the sound of life within you when the world ends the drum beats will sound just once for you like it sounded for me. It will sound bad or good. I will, or sorry, it will ask you if you have been bad or good. And you can enter only one way. Quote by Smalley, Smalley. Sorry, I can't pronounce that name, but it is quote by a person named Juan, Wanda Palm Pro Fitz. But yeah, he, that's a great quote. I love how he puts like, you know, people in there too, like the quotes. In it. But this is this is the next um pick a uh, page when I turn it over, the sec page. Looks pretty cool. I do love the the album like the pictures of it. I do love it. And the, um and yes, there's only like like there's only like this page, this page and this page. That's it. The left side just talks about, you know, song information about the writing, the drumming, and the per percussion, you know, stuff like that. 
like you know there's only 12 songs on this album 12 songs that's not that like because like it's pretty short but um not i'm not i don't have problems with longer shorts i just just listen to this album just for fun you know but on the right side it's just ringo star himself right there i love how he wrote down um saying peace and choose love not peace and love but peace and choose love get it as the album title <laughs> But um, signed by Ringo right there. I mean, I wish I had that signed by Ringo, but looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And it's got all the thank you for contribute contribute to this album. I do love that right there. Stuff like that. And that's the back cover. So that's it pretty much. Just reviewing the album cover. But like, um, so the part I'm gonna get into is reviewing the the CD of what it looks like. But I'm I'm only gonna play the DVD version. Um, I'm going to be only playing the, this one right here, the DVD version, because, you know, the CD doesn't really work, because you only had to um, get, like, a CD player, or you could also play this um, c c CD disc on the van, because I actually tested it out with my parents, because we wanted to go somewhere, like, we were going to, you know, the store, and I wanted to test it out, because I was nervous of what's going to happen if I insert the CD, because I didn't even notice that before, but I just learned, and I was like, oh, so it might probably work on the... A family van, I would like to call it, because you know I'm I'm living with my parents still. But um, yeah, but I I test this out playing the CD version on the van, and it works perfectly. Cause it's that's the problem, cause like the laptop can't play two things; it only plays one, which is the DVD. So I'll show you what happens when I um insert like a DVD disc of this um. I'll show you what happens if I when I when I insert this um DVD version of this. Ring of Star Choose Love, whatever that's called. But um Yeah, let's get let's get into it. And by the way, the shelf that I have on the right side, I collected all the Beatles albums by the way. So I haven't been reviewing all that album covers right there. Um my apologies, but I do like cause I, I've been busy and I've been sick for like a couple days now, so I haven't been getting the videos lately and I've been pretty lazy. But I'm I may do a review on these albums too, like you know. And I got I got this uh, di CD disc of the Beatles albums, not the not the vinyl ones. But I I, I do love them. I do love uh, any types of you know CDs that have like you know please please me to you know Abbey Road or Let It Be. I lo I do love these vinyls too. I love it. I mean, even though if I don't have a vinyl player, but I, I don't know. Let's get into the case. So yeah, right over there, right over there. Th those are my shelf actually for the Beatles. Right there, I got them all right there, baby. Yeah. So this is where I insert this um, the um, Ring of Stars Choose Love, and I insert them on my laptop, and I'll see you there. I'm gonna edit this video out, so I'm gonna be editing this. I'm going to be editing this video so I can record it from my laptop, so I, so you can, guys and girls can see what happens. See you there. Everybody, I am back, and sorry I do not have my face cam with me because I just wanted to let you guys and girls know what this um this um dvd looks like so um i just inserted the dvd on the um the laptop that i have not on a cd pl uh, dvd player because i used to have a dvd player but it's old but i i don't know i just want to live in the old school style pretty much that's pretty much that's the part of me that's basically what the point i what i am but these are all the different choices that you can pick you can pick um the audio and the like if you can see like the per uh, pink ones that are moving that's my mouse by the way i'm you know i'm moving around but the first one is play album with lyrics, so you can play the music soundtracks. Like you can play like the music. So let me show you right here. So you can pretty much hear the whole entire song. Okay, that's enough. Because I don't want to get copyright, but um, yeah. So at the first part, you can actually play all the music, but you can just. Cause like not only you can pl you can um start listening to the music on like a DVD player that you have, but you can also like you can also like look at the lyrics so you can understand what um he's saying in the songs, which is pretty smart idea right there. So so you can't really like use your remote to next or title or menu. Well, you can actually, but I'm just using a laptop. So let me just skip all the way to the end. Okay, so yeah, so the. First part was just like you could play the album with the lyrics, so that's a smart idea. So the album song select is like you could 
So like any songs that are right there, you can pick any of the songs right there. Or you can click main menu. And I love the, the pictures they took. Uh, and the video is play documentary, song by song notes, Ringo biography, and credits. Also, I don't think they, I don't even mention credits, but let's go with song by songs um, notes. So those are just like a quotes of what they were talking about. You know, they talk about the fading in and fading out song. You know, they were talking about the linear notes of each of the songs. So I'll just skip uh, the next one and the next one so you can guys and girls can see it. So it's this one. Oh my lord. And um, next one is hard to be true. And um, some people, which that song can be described as um, what's going on nowadays. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um the next one is why am i always wrong or you could say um uh, or the song title is actually called um uh, wrong all the time actually that's what the song is called and the first one is actually called fading in and out actually don't hang up and this song actually uh, features um the female um singer um what was her name christy uh, um sorry i cannot pronounce her name but um her name that is featured in this um album song it has um uh, one of the founders from um it has um the female uh Chris uh, Christy Haini sorry can I can I press, pronounce the last name I apologize but she was included in the Don't Hang Up song if you guys don't, girls don't know who is she but she is the founder of the band I think it was called the Pretenders I think one of the old school um, band but I am not very familiar with the band right now but. But I am very not, I'm not familiar with the band or not, but um, I may check out, I'm, I'm going to check out the pretend, um, the pretenders, this um, songs and, you know, the albums later on after this. But um, yeah, the next one is Me and You. And after that is Satisfied. And the next one is The Turnaround. Or no, 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 it's actually Choose Love. Okay, my apologies. Wait a minute. Why did they just switch the realm? Because in the track, because on the track, it's actually wrong all the time. The next one's don't hang up, and the next one's choose love. What the heck? Did it just switch up on me? Look at that. It says me and you, and I click next, and it goes to the satisfy, right? It then, like, it go. the next one's choose love. They just switched around the tracks. Because the seventh track is actually don't hang up, right? But in the eighth track is actually choose love. Nine is me and you and the tenth track is satisfied and number eleven is the turnaround and the twelfth is free drinks. So um, yeah but this is the eleventh track you know the turnaround and this one's the final um track of the you know the songs why not that's final track in the album and it's free drinks okay enough with the copyright Cause like um, you can actually play the songs on the DVD part. Pretty shocking, cause I didn't know you can do that. Cause it just said play album with lyrics, but um, Ringo biography. Let's check that out. And the credits. <coughs> so this is the credits. So you can pretty much pause the video right there, so you can read it all. Cause I can't read it all, cause this is like a review. I wanted to get over this quickly. I mean, not cause I just wanted to go quickly. It's just because you know. Just need to summarize the, you know, the, the album, you know, before I'm ending up the video. Because I am going to do some amazing editing after this, trust me. Um, here's what Star and Hudson had to say about all of their loving songs choices on Choose Love. Go to notes. Okay, I don't have to do that because I already did that. So pretty much that's what it is. And the credits, let's check that out. And it's just the credits of the documentary, by the way. And this is just the credits right there. So it's just the credits, all the people who participated in it. That's pretty much it. And the Ringo Starr biography, play the documentary. I could just play a little bit of it. It pretty much, because the whole documentary is actually on YouTube, so you can watch it for yourselves. So I don't have, so I, you could play the documentary on the YouTube. But for now, I could just like, you know, show you what it looks like. But um, the documentary is actually, to be fair, shorter than the Ring, Ringo Rama. And it's not that I mean, it's not because I have problems with long or short, you know, documentaries. I just, I love to watch the documentaries, mem documentaries behind the albums, you know, especially Ringo Starr. Because, I mean, how can you go wrong with him, huh? <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, so this album, the, this documentary is actually 9 minutes long, and the one for Ringo Rama is actually 40 minutes of um, um, interviews and the documentaries, you know, making, because um, I'll just um, do a review on that album probably the next day, but I am going to do some crazy editing after that, but I'll just play like, a, you know, a couple of, you know, a couple of minutes of it, or a couple seconds so I can show you what it looks like. But, like I said, the whole documentary is on YouTube, so you guys can go can search it up and watch it for yourself. If you don't have the album. You know what I mean? But I'll just play a couple of seconds so you can see what it looks like. Okay, it starts out with that. Okay, let me skip that. Okay, not copyright. Okay, there we go. Choose love, choose love, choose There he love, is, there's Ringo Starr. I've been waiting for you. Know, a dream sequence. Dream, So yeah, that's the. Okay, stop. <laughs> this is Ringo on the round heads, you know. So yeah, I really wish to watch. I I wanted to watch this um this um, I really wanted to like watch the documentary, what, but I just. What is the idea of the song? Is it but positive? I, so you can, there's actually different chapters of the documentaries, actually. But I'll just go all the way to the end, so. That's just my review of the DVD version of the, um, Ring of Star Choose Love. There's actually, like, um, like, you can, when you skip it, you can actually skip some parts of the uh, album. Like, you know, documentary, so you don't have to, when you skip it, you don't have to skip all the way to the end. So you can just skip single parts of it, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, but that was my review of the DVD version of Ring of Star Choose Love. I'll see you there to review the song tracks and what do I feel about these songs. I'll see you there. Peace and love. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to, uh, you know, try to quote Ringo Starr right there. <coughs> okay, sorry. Um, hello, everybody. I am back and now we are going to review the final part of this album. And it, and it is the tracks. There are 12 tracks on this album. And the first track is Fading In and Fading In, Fading Out. This song, I actually love this song right away. It was a really catchy song. A really good start for this album, too. I love it. It's, like, it's basically talking about, like, um... <coughs> okay, hey, hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta get a water. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I am back. I am back. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to die. But, um... Yeah, but I do love the song right away. It's really catchy. Uh, for our first listeners, especially if you're not a big fan of Ringo Starr, you will find this pretty catchy song. <coughs> but um, I am just really sick today. I apologize for it. So the sec, so the first track I do love. The first track, really good start for the album. Second track is "Give Me Back," uh, "Give Me Back the Beat." Really catchy song too. It's like most. I just love Ringo Starr's. Not not only these songs are just so catchy, but it got some good lyrics in it too. I do love it. But this song, I love it too. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It does sound like a, one of Ringo Starr's, like, this song kind of sounds like almost like a country music. Along with his older, you know, his older stuff. Like, you know, his, one of his first albums that's ever created. Like, you know, the, you know, you know, you know like his earlier albums where he, cre where he has like jazz, country music, stuff like that. And his oldest, really older, uh, like, albums, one of his first ones that has like jazz and country music. This one kind of gives me like a country music. Um, kind of gives me a little bit of nostalgic of country music. Even though if not a lot of people out there don't listen to country music, but at least they should just give it a try. Just listen to country music. And even though some of the songs from the Beatles are, you know, the members of the Beatles got some country music, like, yeah, get at least, you gotta at least admire them, you know? But um, yeah, I do love the second track, Give Me Back the Beat. The first track, The Fading In, Fading out is really catchy. Like it stuck in my head when I first heard it. But um, the third track is "Oh My Lord." This song is a really good song. Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need your love so bad. I this song is so catchy. Like this song is just so. Not only it's so catchy, but it's just man. I just. Memorize the lyrics too, like the chorus, like it's just so good the lyrics. I just loved it, like so catchy. One of my favorite songs from this album. But um, yep. <coughs> um, like the, this one's a little. This song, this third track, is actually a little slower than the fading in and fading out. Sorry, I keep bringing that song up, but it's a little slower than the first one since they're both 
a really good start to the album, right? So the fourth track is actually called um, Hard To Be True. And, um, and this song is pretty catchy too. I do love it. Like most of his songs on this album, in my opinion, it's pretty catchy. And, and it's really um, um, uh, listenable for his, um, you know, his songs on this album. You know, The True Is Love. But, um, but this song, I can't, because every time I hear these tracks, I just like, like for example, Hard To Be True, I just hear... Hear like the lyrics saying like, why is it, why is it so hard to be true? You know that, yeah, I can hear that just, you know, <coughs> start like, stuff like that. Like the second one, like, you know, second track, give me back that beat. Give me back the beat. Dun, dun, dun. I love the guitar riff of that song. Give, give me back the riff, give me back the beat, not give me back the riff. I'm such a loser. But the fifth track is some people. Like this song, really good um, lyrics. I do love, like, I know what he's saying. And I do love the, you know, song. Pretty catchy. It's really listenable. And this song pretty much is just like every modern day problems. Like some people just can't let go of the memories they have. But I do, you do, and you will. You know, most of the lyrics in this song is just like, some people just can't do that or just can't do anything in their lives. But I do, you do. Like that's part of the lyrics in this song. But I do love what he's saying in this uh, fifth track. Really good, um, really listenable. I do love this uh, song. Sixth track is Wrong All The Time. This is one of my favorite songs on this album. Sure, it's quite slow. Like, it's got like a piano in it too. But it's a really good slow song. I gotta admit it. It's a really good slow song. Because like, it's just like... Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. I can't... I forgot how it goes. But it's a really slow song. I do love that song. Why am I wrong for all the time? You know, stuff like that. I just just love this song. Like, it's just... Because I know many people out there don't like slow songs. Like, they're not... It's not, like, their number one favorite songs on their albums. But, I mean, give, give, like, slow songs like this a chance. Like, give slow songs like this. Like, wrong all the... Wrong all the time. Like, that song. Give it a chance. Like, like I said, I always love slow songs. I always love them. And... Actually, in my personal opinion, I actually like s slower songs more than fast songs because it has more message and more, you know, heart into it, and I just love it a lot. <clears throat> I do love some fast songs, like, you know, Fading In, Fading Out. I do love it. It's really catchy, but it's just, you know, I just love slow songs just because it's relaxation, you know, stuff like that. But, um, seventh track, Don't Hang Up. <clears throat> this song features um, Christy Hyde, just like what I mentioned before. You know, the founder of The Pretenders. Really good um, duet with her and Ringo Starr. <coughs> Pretty catchy. Really listenable. Stuff like that. I, I love it. <coughs> I do love all the songs on this album. But I haven't get a chance to... Uh, like I said, I, haven't been, I didn't upload this video yesterday when I just got this album. Because I want to listen to this song a lot. Like, I want to listen to this album a lot. Especially... Ringo Rama. And also, by the way, guys and girls, I forgot to mention, I also got um this album right here. I got George Sherrison's All Things Must Pass. The, the original CD version, you know, the black and white version. And, you know, because like in the, in the 2001 version where it's all like colored, you know, stuff like that. I do love the... I do love the black and white, you know, image. It just represents how old it was way back then. I just love it. But side note, side note, and I apologize for off topic. I just want to mention it because I just, I got that one too. I, I got that one too yesterday too. But um, yeah, seventh track, I do love the song, Don't Hang Up. I love this song. Really catchy and really listenable. I do love, I do, I do love how at the end it's just like a cell phone, like a, a telephone just going off, like at the end, just like. You can hear like a telephone just going off. It's it can get a little weird for first listeners, but you can like you can appreciate it more. But um, the eighth track is the title title of the album. Choose love. Like this song is a really good message too. I do love it. Like like I love how in the lyrics just like talking about why you need uh, like why shouldn't you choose you need what you should choose what you should choose. Choose love. Like that part of the lyrics, I don't really remember too much. Like I said, that's why I haven't been making this video today, uh, like yesterday, because, you know, I, I wanted to listen to the song more and more from this album, you know, stuff like that. But the ninth track is Me and You. Basically, the song is talking about Ringo Starr, and um, I can't really remember, but I heard uh, his girlfriend at the time. But um, yeah, but pretty much, 
you know, having a, a discussion about their um, relationship, pretty much. But um, I don't think it's really. Um, I don't. I wonder if this song is wrote, wrote for the, his girlfriend at the time. I'm, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. But um, I do love. I do like the song. Like I don't know. For me, I just love the songs. I mean, yes, it could be. I know it's not their favorites, but I mean, it, it grow. Most of some of the songs on this album growed on me pretty much. <clears throat> Tenth track is satisfied. Now this song is a pretty good song, and just like you know, the chorus like it doesn't make me satisfied. Like almost like a, like the last one where it talks about the relationship of like well, I mean basically he's just talking about like us. Like it says like if you don't be with um if you don't be with me then I'm not then I won't be satisfied. Stuff like that. That's what the song is talking about. <coughs> Sorry if I kept coughing so much. I'm a little sick. But um, I live with the track is the turnaround. Basically, the song is just talking about us wanting to be something, something like that, like want us to do something, just like turn around, the turnaround stuff, like what we're we're what we're what we're what we're doing now, and then we're just gonna turn around and what we're doing better things, you know, stuff like that. It's, the song does have a good message too. And the final track on this album is "Free Drinks." This song is. Cause if, um, fun fact, if you got, cause I know many um, younger kids out there probably don't know nothing, nothing about Ringo Starr or this album. But cause if you don't know much about Ringo Starr, but way back in the day, I think it was in the, like in the seventies or eighties, like really, really long time ago. But he, Ringo Starr, had like a drinking problem way back then. But he was getting healthier when he was getting older. But he was getting healthier, cause when he was younger, he was, like in my personal opinion, not the best healthiest. That's the best way to put it there. You know, not trying to offend him, but I do, I do love him. I, I, it doesn't matter of his looks. It doesn't matter. But it's just he just looks healthier, in my opinion. Just just this album cover just looks, makes him look healthier. Yeah, yeah, but basically this album just talk this song, you know, free drinks track. It talks about, you know, him, you know, having drinks or whatnot, like having free drinks, I'm guessing. Like just letting that letting the anger out. Something like that. Sorry if I don't get too much specific of the song. I'm just getting over on my thoughts of the songs. I do love all the songs on this album tracks. Like, I do love all the songs on this album. Sure, it may not be everybody's favorites. This album, it may not be everybody's favorite album from Ringo Starr. But, I mean, give this album a chance. Give this album a chance and maybe you'll love this um, album a lot more than what the, than you thought of. You know? Something like that. <coughs> but, yeah, but, um... I do love most of the songs on this album. Pretty catchy. It got some good lyrics, and I love the message and what he's saying in this, you know, in this uh, one of the songs. Most of the some of the songs that I listen to grown on me actually, and yeah, that's basically all of what I had to say about the review. I reviewed the you know the album, the album cover, the album tracks, and the album DVD, a CD, stuff like that. I mean, not the CD because the CD audio doesn't work for the laptop because you have to put it like in a CD player or just. Yeah, only on a CD player. Or you can play it on your vehicle, like in your car or your van, stuff like that. Pretty cool. You can do that on a CD player. But not on a DVD player because, you know, van, uh, like vehicles only play CD players. You know? I mean, everybody should know that, right? <laughs> but, sorry. But, um, yeah. But overall, I do love this album. Um, it's pretty colorful. I mean, not too colorful, but it's pretty. it's got some good colors there. Red, blue. And light blue, I do love the color textures that Ringo Starr used for this album. I do love that. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this. Because if you had this album for yourself, or if you listen to the songs, you know, stuff like that. Let me know what your thoughts about this album, Choose Love, in the comments down below. Did you like it, or did you love it a lot, or did you dislike it, or did you never liked it? Tell me your, uh, like your opinion in the comments down below. Cause my personal opinion about this album, I actually like this album. Like, sure, I've um, sure it, it may sound a little boring for first listeners, but at least give it a chance. Like, keep listening to it more and more. Like, just like what I said in um, Paul McCartney's Driving Rain album review, where I said like, just see like um, most of the songs, like you know, it may not be everybody's favorites on the first listeners, but like I said, give the albums like like you know albums from the members of the Beatles. Um, a chance, you know, just listen to it more and more, let it sink in, so you can, so that most of the songs can grow on you later on, and make, make it one of your favorite songs from the artists that you love, especially from the members of the Beatles, but anyway, let me know, 
let me know down in the comments down below what is what is your honest what is your opinion about this album did you like it or did you love it a lot or did you dislike it you know or did you never or did you never like it when it first came out you know because i i did look at the reviews it did have some mixed reviews it did have strong reviews but i didn't read the reviews too much because there weren't there weren't there weren't many reviews of this album way back then there wasn't that much you know review on this album so this i in my opinion would consider it as one of the most un underrated album from Ringo Starr in my opinion so I feel like we should shine a light a little more of this album so we can you know talk about this album I mean yeah but that's just my opinion I just I just feel like we should just shine a light on this album a little more even I know it's Ringo Starr I know it may not be everybody's favorite but I just I just love I just love this album so much it's just so underrated especially his songs on this album are just pretty underrated pretty much but um the next video I may um the next video I may talk about the Ringo Rama actually. Um album that actually that album came out in 2003. Wow, what a long time ago. Well not as long time ago as the Beatles era, trust me on that one. But man, I was man, I man, I was there at the time when Ringo started made Ringo Rama and Choose Love. I was there at the time when this these albums came out. Man, so nostalgic. It's so nostalgic. When Ringo Starr releases the um, the albums and then he has like a DVD player, so that's actually awesome. Like he puts it because like he has like a CD and then he also has like a DVD pl a CD right there. It's just awesome. So you can see like a documentary, so you don't have to you know look, so you don't have to watch all the interviews that it shows up on the TV, you know stuff like that. That's actually creative. I love that. So that's all I have to say for this video. If you guys and girls enjoyed the review of this um, the Ringo Starr Choose Love, like. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends or family, tap the bell for notifications so you don't have to miss a single video. Um, let me know what let me know um, what you think of this um, album in the comments down below. Like if you have this album for yourself when it first came out or or like if you remember having this album way back then or like something like that, but but if you have like like just let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this album? Did you like it? Like did you like it? Did you love it a lot? Or did you never like it when it first came out? Or do you not like it still? Like I said, just listen to the just listen to the songs on this album more. You know, just listen to the song uh, songs on this album so it can grow on you. And maybe you'll love them a lot more than what you thought before. But anyway, um, I will see you in the next video. And I will be reviewing, well, I mean, I was actually going to do a video of me, like, talking about the West Orange graduation. I didn't get a chance to, because I was lazy, and not only that, but I was getting a little sick over the past days, a couple days now. So, I'm feeling a little better, but not fully better. So, the next videos, just stay tuned. I will be doing either the, the graduation, like, you know, a topic about that, or Ringo Rama album, stuff like that. Oh, excuse me. That was a quiet burp. But anyway, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Um, and also, um, change the world. And also, peace and love. Peace and love. Hello, I am Ringo Starr. And peace and love. I was trying to break down my Ringo Starr impression, but it might not be the best, but hey, at least I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Uh...